the revival of cities event is quickly coming to a close and it looks like we may have established some form of peace here in the server oh and also um ya boy might have a dragon on his city now what's going on guys cheers guys the revival of cities event in server 136 was scheduled to last for 60 days and i can't believe that we're like what a week away or something like that from the 60 day mark it's crazy that it's been like seven eight weeks since the beginning i feel like time flew by and we've had so many different things happen in this server one of the final major events for the revival of cities was the opening and uh taking of the level nine provincial capitals around the center of the map in this video we're going to show off us taking the level eight city of Taichi or teach I don't know how to pronounce that I'm sorry our alliance ended up taking this uh because 404 a little bit of a stronger alliance was the one taking the provincial capital for green but zooming out we can see a pretty even balance of the faction power almost spot on for all three factions which is incredibly nice to see the Japanese players really did a great job at organizing the server and sort of stabilizing it and making sure that there was a, a sort of an even distribution of power across all the different factions so if you guys are looking for a server to play or start infinity kingdom in server 136 is probably a good one to try out there will again be a link in the description below if you want to download infinity infinity kingdom uh, and play with with all these awesome players in server 136 moving forward into server versus server uh it's, it's good to be in a relatively harmonious and peaceful server so that's probably a great strategy so server 136 seems to have accomplished that very well and i'm looking forward to seeing how this server develops moving forward beyond the revival of cities event i think that's going to be really awesome to see and having this account in the server is going to be really really cool now obviously you know we got a we got a dragon on the city now okay your boy hit vip 15. i did actually use quite a bit of gems uh to get that final push over the uh over to vip 15. so if you guys didn't know um when you hit vip 15 you get the uh, ability to unlock the shadow dragon and when you do get this bundle uh this vip 15 bundle you do get the dark fortress city skin which gives you five percent dragon upgrade speed and five percent gold production speed of dwellings which is very nice that's very nice gold is very uh hard to come by in the game just in general overall pretty much forever <laughs> so having that is really really good um and of course the shadow dragon like is it's the shadow dragon like it's incredible but also what you unlock when you get vip 15 is the vip store uh, and the vip store gives you a, a way to exchange your your now your now useless vip points on uh, a limited number of resources per day as well as the holy dragon egg which is a hundred thousand vip points that's a hundred thousand gems and then after you get the holy dragon egg you can start to purchase uh holy dragon crystals here it replaces this spot so really cool stuff finally hit vip 15 i'm very happy about that look at my little teenager melanthios that's cute he's upgrading to level six right now uh he was he was a little bit cuter as a as a baby okay he was just a tad look at that little guy look at him running around man that's so freaking cute dude that's so for you if only you knew when you saw him stumble on the scene that he would turn into a literal demon dragon like that's just, it's badass anyway let's just do one more quick overview of the power rankings here in the server so you can see um we have chn is number one we have 404 as number two and attack of max as number three so it's nice to see one of each faction uh has a super powerful alliance then we've got a couple of the of the green factions a couple of the red factions and then a couple of the blue factions so again it's really cool to see how how this server has kind of broken down relatively evenly amongst the different factions which was certainly not the case earlier on in the event but let's take a look at actually the lord power i'm curious here so we see attack of max still number one here uh in the red faction by a hefty margin huge power difference between him and the others which is nuts dude this is actually insane max is clearly uh he quickly became a very dominant player here in the in the server so very cool to see that um obviously we've got a couple of really awesome blue and green players up here as well uh looks like lord was finally kicked down man where'd lord go 
where is he oh he's still number nine okay he did gain a little bit more power since the last time i checked um it's been really cool playing alongside lord he's a very strong player so we've got some really cool people here in the top 10. Uh, you can see i'm ranked 36. Uh, we've got wick gaming at 21 very cool stuff there taking a look at strongest troop power we see um member of chn coming in hot on 200k that's actually ridiculous it looks like um we're still seeing a very strong earth dominance here in the server if we take a look oh man these skills are all golden baby Ooh, look at that dude oh my god it's actually insane these are actually just insane stats uh, concentration possibly controversial here not sure we're not we're not seeing fire nova okay weird but anyway um very interesting stuff here if we take a look at max we're gonna see pretty much the same thing uh we're gonna i guess hey i guess max is using concentration as well maybe they know something i don't i'm not really sure uh but yeah this is this is some really crazy stuff here um these these earth marches are just ridiculous dude looking at the top uh 10 it's just impressive it's just impressive and i'm loving to the, the health of the server and just all, all the passion that these players have for the game already is awesome moving on over to my own account here we can see that my strongest uh, troop is still my earth march um i have been trying really hard to make my uh my lightning march stronger but it's just not it just doesn't look like it's gonna happen um the reason for that is because i'm still waiting on the final skill for peter the great for those of you who saw my last video if you didn't see it check it out but i tried really hard to to max out peter and i just got so unlucky you'll you have to see it it's it's really good but i'm still missing two skills here which means i can't put tower of knowledge skills on them on those two uh so that's why there's there's two extra tower of knowledge skills here on this on this army um and also this is all physical damage here on lightning so um getting all four skills for each of them be physical damage and leveled up strong enough it's it's quite difficult so um it's still gonna be a little, a little while before um before lightning becomes my strongest march but you can see that my lightning dragon definitely outclasses my earth dragon and he just looks so cool dude he looks so good taking a look at, at my uh, immortals and their skill development you can see we do have to a couple of these of these epic skills in here we see i threw lifelink on charles the great because he's in that front row uh, i've been given some uh, feedback on physical shield and magical shield some players saying that these aren't really great skills to invest in so um and that's coming from players that uh play the game more than i do and and have, are more invested so um that's something you can consider if you're trying to build these teams yourself um here you can see i'm using concentration myself because i don't have access to some of those uh those epic um skills that those other strong players have we see toxin nova and fire nova here as well and then uh i don't really have too much developed here on zenobia um berserk i threw on here for attack speed and hp recovery we got pretty much all hp recovery on everything here um and i finally fixed her equipment to be a little bit better so tons of hp recovery on her now we could also take a look at the revival of cities ranking here within the game as you can see here 60 day event obviously occupying all level nine cities has finished already so sage two is pretty much done now um if we take a look here at the rankings kun kun is number one by far for the attack point ranking just absolutely just dominated this section super impressive stuff here max cn lord coming in at fourth which is really nice wick showing up really hot on number seven wick was uh present for many of the city captures so that doesn't really surprise me clash bashing as well um we see a lot worthy prince coming in at number 15 uh lord two lord is on here twice lord beat me twice baby crazy stuff really crazy stuff we see jesus making an appearance appearance shout out to jesus shout out to man up i know man up is in our alliance as well pika lots of really cool players in here you can see a boy sitting at number 40 okay it's a modest it's a modest 40. i am in top 100 though so i'm, I'm okay with that i feel like i could have done probably a little bit better obviously my peers are a bit higher than me so i definitely could have performed a little better um but honestly still happy i'm in top 50 so that's cool stuff there we see a lot of iw players in here like this is actually really cool and also tons of i mean the japanese players were so good uh architect oh my god dude Natsuko, uh, dude so many good players here that uh we got to play alongside throughout this event and who are still in i mean nuggies they're still in the uh in the server now juicy so yeah love that juicy up here this is really just impressive players really impressive players too so i love to see it 
uh shout out to everybody that was in iw that is in iw still um even though this attack phase is over now we can scroll down to take a look at the construction point ranking um you could see here that th there's a quite a different list here obviously like neo and some other players are on both um lord ramen shout out to lord ramen um also in iw but yeah you can see here that um th this list is is quite a bit different and this is because this was for constructing the cities and so a lot of times what you would see is that the ultra powerful players were the ones that you know were taking down the city walls and doing all the fighting um and so they pretty much kept a lot of their um they kept a lot of their armies within their city to so they could fight right and so they kind of put their maybe their excess troops in the cities for construction um and so i think that some of i mean obviously worthy is, is up here 57 so doing really well um but i think a lot of the high power fighters aren't gonna find themselves very high on this list uh shout out to schmoven he's been uh he's been an iw the, pretty much the whole time um you know so really great performance from all these guys as well so these are more of the i mean i don't know if these are free to play players entirely um but <clears throat> certainly you know we don't see the same like mega powerful players that we saw in the attack ranking show up here so it's really nice to see that you know some of those players that maybe aren't super strong are going to be getting some really nice rewards from this event and they absolutely deserve it because constructing cities is so important in infinity kingdom and these guys really showed us how it was done so the revival of cities rankings super cool stuff this event has been really cool the entire time it's just been a really unique and interesting event uh and i like it a lot i actually think i like this better than the the other event that i took place in the contention of legends i think this was actually a little bit more organized it went a little bit more smoothly so i really loved this event a lot now let's take a look at this level eight city capture and you can see here that we brought a ton of players and i honestly barely made it to this city capture uh because I, this was at 14 UTC, which was like 9 AM for me. I probably just woke up and like grabbed my phone and saw that it was like happening. I saw like a discord alert um, and, and I just jumped right in, which is why my positioning in the bottom right corner isn't perfect. Um, compared to a lot of these players, I am a very high power. So I should have been right up next to the city but i didn't get the right I, I just wasn't there in time so it you know that's my own fault huge shout out to uh wick and the other r5s for organizing all of this and making this possible to have all these players you really do need the these numbers to take down a level eight it's just insane right uh and it, it just helps to have so many people um so you can spread out the uh the ap cost across a, a bunch of different players instead of just having your high power uh, high power players being forced to do it all uh sort of on their own you could see obviously you know players like lord can really take it down those garrisons pretty effectively um but the problem is there aren't that many players like lord okay that's that's the thing uh and so a couple of a couple of times i sent out my strongest army uh and even though you need like 90k strongest troop power to take down this garrison i think i lost like three out of the five or four out of the five attacks that i sent at the garrison which was confusing to me after having uh, a couple of players take a look at my army it looked like um because i was using a couple of the lower level tower of knowledge skills i wasn't really as effective um i did use a few boosts uh to to do my later attacks just so that way i could get a chance at winning because i started to get nervous like oh my god like if i can't do it like how many players do we have around that can obviously wick and lord can do it um I, again we had some 404 players that were um around helping us but even still you know I, I didn't want to sort of leave it all to them um and so i decided to keep trying my luck and i did lose a couple thousand troops there um and, and i did go in and, and check to see like that garrison the strongest troop power for the garrison was only like sixty-seven thousand or something like that so i was very confused as to why i was losing here but regardless i did get a couple of victories in and we didn't and we did take up uh we did end up taking that uh level eight city so really cool uh big final city push here for us on the uh on the map which was nice it was nice seeing a couple of these vip 15 players around with their shadow dragon sitting on the city man it just looks so cool but these events like these moments are the moments that make infinity kingdom so cool uh just these big alliance and even these big faction uh, based events and seeing everybody come together and come online at the same time and it's just that's what makes all the games in this genre very cool uh, and growing you know your community um within the game which has been really nice and i think the community in server 136 is truly uh very strong and and something special too coming out of an event like this which was really nice so i'm happy that the devs put this event together 
for uh, myself and everybody else to participate in our communities and everything really nice stuff here and that's pretty much it we took the city and uh and you know we established ourselves as one of the strongest alliances here in server 136 which is really quite the feat because this is uh it was a highly competitive server and uh we really going into it did not know what to expect and the fact that we came out so high on the uh, alliance leaderboard is is something that i'm definitely proud of and i certainly could not have come even close to uh as high as that had i not been in this uh event with the other content creators so again i'm truly uh lucky to have been a part of this event and i can't wait to see how server 136 continues to develop um from the inside so it's gonna be really really cool anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other infinity kingdom players might see it if you guys are still considering downloading and playing infinity kingdom go ahead and give server 136 a try i think the community here is incredible there will be a link in the description to download infinity kingdom it's free go ahead and give the game a try the game just looks beautiful if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace